I would like to discuss a couple of uh, features of MongoDB that uh, I find pretty interesting. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a JSON file where I have uh, three documents and I just put in a title and a content and I like to import this into a MongoDB instance. So let me just bring up my RoboMongo console uh, window which is uh, what I have. So you can as you can see it's got uh, two databases junk and test and I'm going to delete this database uh, called junk and it says can I drop it and I have actually just dropped everything and uh, now I don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is I want to import this data and uh, we can use a command called db mongodb mongo import and I can show you what it looks like. Uh, basically I'm going to go into a shell and uh, I'm going to say mongo import minus d database is going to be junk inside the database the collection is going to be test and uh, the file I'm importing is out.json where I have the three records and we can run this and it says that it imported three documents so if I go back into mongodb client uh, robomongo and refresh uh, what you're going to see is that I have the junk database and, it, and if I look through the collections, it has uh, the three documents that I wanted to insert. So uh, the reason I've uh, done this is I wanted to show you how to do uh, text uh, term searches. And uh, it's quite interesting. And uh, to be able to do that, let me just uh, demonstrate uh, that how many indexes we have on this database and the collection. So we're going to read our test and we say get indexes and uh, here I'm running that and you can see it only has the default index underscore underscore ID so the first thing we want to do to be able to do the uh, able to do the text searches is we need to be able to create uh, a text index and to the way to create a text index is uh, you uh, run this command uh, db yeah, the collection the test then you say create index and and you specify what you want to create the index on so I want to be able to search both the title and the content so I'm going to create an index which says title and usually uh, if you have to want to do a text search you have to specify it as a text and this is a compound index so I'll have both title and content colon uh, text and uh, this is uh, the command db.createIndex and let's uh, run this command it says it did create an index so we can run and see what happened here just to test the indexes and if I see the indexes you can see it's got my second index of the type test and the reason we created a test index is uh, uh, pretty straightforward because we want to be able to do the searches on both the title and the content and let me just demonstrate with a query which I've already pre-written for you and I will explain to you the format and uh, the query I'm running here is it says we want to find text dollar text because that's an index I've already created and we're just searching for large and if I run this query, you can see that it returns me all three documents. And the reason it does is because it, it has large in title or the content in all three documents. So let's say if we just wanted to uh, do a term search of two words, I can say large one. And uh, that should return uh, three documents as well because it is or large or one. But let's say if I just delete this large and you can see one is only in one document and uh, let's say if I wanted to search for basically one and two and I can do this and it could search for one and two so this is actually a quite an interesting feature that in the past a uh, little bit harder to do uh, but I, I uh, and you may not know about it but uh, this is a good way to do this and one final thing I wanted to show you is that once you have the data in MongoDB you can also export it 
by just running this simple command and this command says the database we are importing is from junk that C is a test and we are exporting it to a file called new.json and we are going to do that and if I just look at the content of new.json you'll see it's got all my three documents exported so if you want to learn more and watch some videos you can just basically go to my website Gaur Associates and you can search for uh, various videos and uh, if you have any comments just feel free to leave it on YouTube or send me an email. Thank you very much for watching this short screencast.